All right, good morning, everyone. It is Wednesday, and what a great Wednesday it is. I hope you're doing well. Gages are going to be in the house. Tony's going to be in the house. The Smiths are going to be in the house. It is going to be a full house this morning, and I hope you are. I hope you had a great Tuesday. I'm still riding the Easter high that we experienced this past weekend. I hope you're doing well. It is Wednesday. It is officially Stand Up and Be Free Wednesday. You'll understand what I mean by that in just a minute. It is, it is Stand Up and Be Free Wednesday. This is not a time for Christians to be timid. This is a time for Christians to rise up with courage and begin to see people in their lives that are bound up set free. See, we were commissioned by Christ and anointed by the Holy Spirit to walk in this life and to set at liberty the captives to release people from bondage and to encourage them toward their destiny. We, we are the light of the world. We are the salt of the earth. We have a ministry. We are ambassadors for Jesus Christ, sharing the message of his kingdom with people. The fact that the kingdom of God has come to the earth to liberate people and to set them free and to set them on a course of new destiny in their life. There are people in your life that God wants to liberate and free from everything that's holding them back. Here's what Satan does. Satan's plan is to cripple people so they can't fulfill their destiny. Let me tell you what I mean by that. He wants to bind them up in pain, in sorrow, in discouragement, in disease, in fear, in anxiety, in depression, in bitterness, in unforgiveness, in doubt, in insecurity, in hurtful memories, self-condemnation, shame, anger, hopelessness, the list goes on. Satan wants to bind people and hold them in those things so they can't break loose and fulfill their purpose in God. He puts a grip on them that keeps them from reaching their potential. And our responsibility as those commissioned by Jesus Christ and empowered by the Holy Spirit is to release them from their bondage so they can stand up and fulfill their purpose. Great story in Luke chapter 13 about this. Jesus is going to set a woman free. Let me read it to you this morning, beginning in verse 10. One Sabbath day, as Jesus was teaching in a synagogue, he saw a woman who had been crippled by an evil spirit. Notice the source of the crippling. Notice the source of the bondage, an evil spirit. She had been bent over physically, double, for 18 years, unable to stand up straight. When Jesus saw her, he called her over and said, Dear woman, you are healed or freed from your sickness. Then he touched her, laid his hands on her. Instantly, she could stand straight. How she praised God. She began to celebrate the freedom she had received through the power of the Holy Spirit through Jesus. But the leader in charge of the synagogue was indignant that Jesus healed her on the Sabbath day. There are six days of the week for working, he said to the crowd. Come on those days to be healed, not on the Sabbath. I mean, this guy had absolutely no compassion. A woman is set free by Jesus, and he's worried about being the Sabbath day. All right, Jesus responded and said to him, You hypocrite, each of you works on the Sabbath day. Don't you untie your, your ox or your donkey from its stall on the Sabbath and lead it out for water? This dear woman, a daughter of Abraham, has been held in bondage by Satan. Notice the source, Satan, demonic spirit. For 18 years, isn't it right that she be released even on the Sabbath? This shamed his enemies, but all the people rejoiced at the wonderful things that Jesus did. This was a demonic spirit crippling her, binding her up, keeping her from uh, reaching her potential in God. She was bent over physically. She couldn't stand up straight. She couldn't stand up and walk in her destiny. She was bent over by the evil one, like, like a tethered animal. She, she needed to be unhitched and untied from her bondage. Jesus said, you, you even uh, unhitch your animals on the Sabbath. You lead them away for water. You set animals free. How much more, this precious woman, this, this daughter of Abraham, this covenant child, how much more does she deserve to be set free from her bondage and her affliction? This is stand up and be free Wednesday. It is stand up and be free Wednesday. What is the spirit? crippling people in your life today. I, I honestly believe if you have the Holy Spirit, as you, as you talk to people, as you interact with people, as you hear their story, as you hear what's going on in life, their life, the Holy Spirit will give you discernment and you'll begin to say, oh, that's a spirit that's crippling her. That's a, that's a, a spirit that's just holding her in check, whether it's unforgiveness or fear or doubt or whatever it is. There are spiritual forces keeping them from their destiny. Jesus came to set the captives free. 
Go back and read Luke chapter 4, verses 18 to 20. Jesus said, the spirit of the Lord is upon me. He's anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor, to, to set the captives free, to liberate the oppressed. Jesus came to give sight to the blind, right? He, to, to hearing to the deaf. Jesus came to liberate people. And, and he encounters this woman bound by a spirit, kept from her destiny, kept from her God-ordained purpose by an evil spirit. And Jesus said, come over here, woman. And he laid his hand on her and he declared her free. And we come across people every day who are spiritually bent over, crippled, unable to stand up and fulfill their purpose in God. What is the spirit that's controlling them? What is the power that's keeping them from standing up straight and walking in God's plan for their lives? Maybe, maybe today's the day as you come across that person, you just say, hey, could I pray with you? I just think God wants to free you. I just think God wants to, you to walk in your destiny and your purpose. And this is holding you back. Could I pray that that spirit that's holding you back would be broken in Jesus' name so you can be liberated and, and, and fulfill your purpose in God? So here's what we're going to do today. We are going to pray for the Holy Spirit's power and discernment that as we go through our day, we are going to see people. We're going to encounter people bent over spiritually, bent over and crippled, bound up, held from their purpose in God. And we, in the moment, we are going to ask if we can pray. We are going to say, can I pray for you? Can I pray that that, that thing would be broken in your life? Can I pray that you'd be able to just walk in the purpose of God for your life? I believe God wants to set you free right now. We're going, to, we're going to ask if we can pray for them. We're going to identify the spirit that's binding them up. We're going to declare freedom and liberty and prayer in Jesus' name over their lives. We're going to tell Satan that he cannot hold them captive. We're going to demand that Satan let them go. Today, you are. This is not an hour for the church to be timid or fearful or worried about reputation or that God won't show up. This is a day to go forth like Jesus did as his commissioned disciples. We come across bent over people, crippled people, bound up people. We say, Jesus wants to set you free. Come on. This is a day to walk. This is stand up and be free Wednesday. You're going to come across someone today that you can say, you know what? I'm going to pray for you that you'll stand up and be free in the name of Jesus Christ today. You're going to, you're going to tell the, the person they are free in the moment, in the power of Jesus' name, and tell them that God loves them. Tell them that God has a purpose for their life. Are you willing to do that today? If God brings someone into your life that you can tell there's something holding them back, there's a spirit holding, I'm not just saying a demonic spirit, but, but the spirits, the, the demonic spirits that, that hold us in unforgiveness, the, the spirits that hold us in fear and anxiety and depression and doubt and disease and all of those self-shaming thoughts and all of those things that keep people back. Jesus came across a woman that could not fulfill her purpose because Satan was holding her back. What if we walked as the church today to liberate people? What if we walked to break the bondage of Satan over people's life so they could go free and fulfill the purpose of God? Are you ready to pray this morning for the Holy Spirit's anointing to come on your life, the boldness of God to come on your life, the discernment of the Spirit of God to come on your life so when you encounter people today that you can tell they're being held back, that you lay your hands on them and you declare the victory of Christ, the victory over the resurrection, over their life, that Satan cannot keep them bound up. Satan cannot hinder them. Satan cannot keep them from the purpose. What if we were that bold today? Come on, friends. What? Can we just pray? Lord, thank you this morning. Thank you on this Stand Up and Be Free Wednesday that we are going to, we are going to receive the, the anointing and the commissioning of the Holy Spirit as we, as we love people, as we talk to people, as we engage people. We are going to ask if we can pray for them and lay hands on them and break the power of darkness that's holding them back from your purpose, God, in Jesus' name. Give us that discernment, Lord, today. Give us uh, eyes to see and ears to hear and hearts to understand what's happening in the spiritual realm today, God, in the name of Jesus. And then the boldness and the fire of the Holy Spirit to, to, like Jesus did, to put our hands on him and say, woman, you are free. Gentlemen, sir, you are free today in Jesus' name from everything holding you back. God, help us to be the church. Help us not just to go to church. Help us to be the church today where you send us, wherever we go. Help us to, to carry the presence of Jesus, to carry the power of Christ through the Holy Spirit. We love you this morning, Lord. We pray your anointing and power to set captives free in Jesus' name. And everybody said, come on, everybody said, what day is it today? It is stand up and be free Wednesday. You're going to tell somebody that today. Just stand up. Stand up in the Lord and be free today. Let, let me pray that Satan's power would be broken off of your life. You're the salt of the earth. You're the light of the world. You're the an ambassador for the Lord Jesus Christ. You go forth with the power of the kingdom of God to free people. Amen. Have the courage. Have the boldness to walk in that today. It's going to be a great Wednesday. God bless you. We'll see you tomorrow morning.